It took me over two years to create the statue of the Holy Family. My brief was to make a statue that shows strength, purpose and dignity. To create a family that is a model of love and peace. While holding on to traditional themes, it still had to have a contemporary flavour that we can all relate to. First, I created a plasticine model or maquette and a sketch. I had to communicate visually the relationship between the figures and the feeling of love and support. A family where Jesus is cherished and there is harmony and joy. Once I was happy with the design, I used water-based clay to sculpt the over life-size figures on an internal metal armature. Then progressively I refined and refined the figures. Because the statue took so long, I had to cover the statues with wet rags and plastic sheets to stop them from drying out and cracking. I changed my mind a lot about the posture of Jesus. Eventually I wanted to show him almost jumping out of Joseph's lap reaching for the new toy his father made for him. This is the enthusiasm and optimism I see in the child Jesus. Then I made Mary into a modern woman, without the veil, bringing food, providing with God's help, as shown by the empty bowl. I put her hand on Joseph's shoulder to show the love and unity between them and to connect the three figures with touch. It was very important that the figures had eye contact with what was important to them. To Mary and Joseph, Jesus is important. To Jesus, it is the dove, a reflection of the natural world and the spirit. Once the sculpture was finished in clay, we made a mold over it from rubber with a plaster case. It was made in many pieces because the sculpture was so complex and took months to make. These moulds were then used to cast wax at the foundry. I detailed the wax sections in the foundry before another mould, a cavity mould, was made over them out of ceramic shell. The wax was then melted out and the bronze poured in. Once the bronze cooled, the moulds were broken and we had to weld the bronze pieces together. The challenge was making all those seam lines disappear and keeping the position of the figures identical to my clay sculpture. Finally, the bronze was glass beaded to remove any imperfection and then patinated using chemicals and heat. Because the statue was the centerpiece for a school, I made it colourful using different types of chemicals and variation in heat. Finally, the sculpture was installed and unveiled. It has been one of the most important projects I've worked on. Family is the most important thing for me, so I feel blessed that I could create this sculpture of the Holy Family.